What makes me most excited about working in this industry is the collaboration and unity amongst the wineries and wine growers in the area. We're in the early stages of an industry that's been around since the cradle of civilization, but Nova Scotians are really starting to grasp it and enjoy it and realize there's nothing better than a fantastic meal and a wonderful bottle of wine. Wine lovers and wine aficionados from all over the world are seeking out Nova Scotia as a wine region destination. And as more and more tourists see us as a wine destination, we're going to get more and more industry developing around the wine industry to, to support it. This is just one new great element to the resume of Nova Scotia. People are looking for the wines that really set Nova Scotia apart. No matter where you are in Nova Scotia, you're never more than an hour from the ocean. And proximity to the water, it's never still at waterside. And so that constant air movement is really helps have a drying effect on the vines because we know how important and how essential the Bay of Fundy is in creating this really unique ecosystem and microclimate that we've got. If you look around at different vineyards, you can say they all look basically the same, but it's what's in the ground, what they're growing from that makes everything unique, the terroir of the region. It's everything from our soil to our climate, our rainfall, you know, some people say that the winemaker's touch is also part of the terroir. There is one common denominator between every fascinating wines on the face of the planet, and that's the fact that a great wine is always made in the vineyard first and foremost. We're, uh, we're right on the cusp of not being able to grow grapes here in Nova Scotia. And when you're on that cusp, there are opportunities for greatness. You have to be a better winemaker to coax out those flavors and nuances. I think that's, that's one of the key things. It really forces the winemakers here to, uh, to be better at their trade. These are the early days in the wine world in Nova Scotia. There's so, there's so much we're still discovering. We can experiment, we can try new techniques, old techniques. You know, we kind of have carte blanche to do whatever we like, and I think we've really found some, some really super styles of wine. There's so many small regions in this area, and every single one of them make great, great world-class wines.